Perio UKM. Uh, I'll be your moderator for today's uh, session, which would be our last session for this program. So uh, I'm very happy to introduce our two speakers for this afternoon. Uh, Dr. Adiba Nadarudin, which is the principal of uh, Intisa Strategies and uh, Bego Dental Implant System. So a little bit about Dr. Adiba. Okay, she uh, graduated from Guys and St. Thomas, London in 1997. Okay, and uh, she has worked in the government sector, in the private sector, also tutoring and supervising in universities like UM, UKM, uh, and MASA. She was also with uh, 3M and Dance Plan, and now the owner of uh, Intisa Strategies. Okay, and uh, the other speaker that will be helping her out is um, Dr. Nur Adila. Okay, so Dr. Nur Adila uh, did her BDS in JSS. University Mysore in 2017, okay, under the JPA scholarship. And then she came back and uh, worked in the private uh, practice since uh, 2020. And uh, currently is the resident dentist in KP uh, Lamansari Sha'alam. So very happy to have you all here. So without uh, wasting time, I'll call upon Dr. Adiba. So much, Dr. Sunisha. Okay, after her introducing me, I feel like I'm a dinosaur, like so long ago. <laughs> well, anyway, okay, so I understand today is your last session, right? So we'll make it light, okay, <laughs> because I'm sure you got a lot from yesterday. Welcome to the dentist from Usu, right? Okay, welcome to Malaysia. I hope you had a good time in Malaysia. So when will we be going back to um, Medan? Tomorrow. Okay, I've, um, I've got relatives in Medan. Actually, so I'm actually um, partly Indonesian as well. Okay, so um, yes, um, I've worked with the government and the private, and I've worked for 3M before. And I worked with um, Dance Play, I was covering Asia, so I visited um, Jakarta a lot. Uh, okay, and then of course um, Manila and all the other you know cities um, in Asia. Um, presenting to you today is our uh, Dr. Adila. Okay, Dr. Adila is our um, resident dentist in Kipi Lamansuri. Okay, she started off with our implant courses and now she's doing implants herself as well. Okay, um, so what we want to share with you today is um, Dr. Adila will be talking about the product, but we also want to share with you the journey, um, you know, as you go along implant treatment. It's something not very, uh, it's something quite new to us. So basically, just sit back, okay, and enjoy. Over to you, Tadila. Okay. Thank you so much, Tadila. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay. I think my uh, here is already written, and thank you to Dr. Sunisha also. We already introduced me as well. Okay, so I'll just repeat uh, a little bit and thank you so much. I hope you guys have a very good lunch just now. <laughs> How do you feel? Still energetic, energetic for the last session? Yes. yes, right? Okay, as what Dr. Adiba say, we're gonna make it like and santai. Okay, maybe my presentation today will be a mix of Bahasa and English as well so that. If you guys want to, wanted to ask question in between, uh, to interrupt me, or there is something you don't want to understand, just raise your hand. Okay. Uh, so so we, we don't want it to be very, very heavy topic. Because uh, just for me to uh, notice, any, uh, any of you already did implants before? Uh, because I guess everyone is from period department, right? <laughs> Okay, so uh, how many of you already heard of bagel before? Oh, let me see. Oh, okay, if you. How about the, our Indonesian friend? Is it new to you? Is it's new? Is it? Okay, so I'll just give a brief history about bagel first. Then we can continue to uh, talk about the bagel implant system. Okay. Alright. Okay. 
This is uh, the motto of Bego. Bego is actually a family company, family implant company, which is um, came from Germany. Okay, this is their tradition. Is actually they are, they are started with the amalgam and gold filling. Then as the tradition goes on, now they are into implant industry, and actually they are or the tradition has been over five generation. So we know that. How long already they are already in the market? Yeah, this is the founder. The founder is actually Dr. William Herbs from 1890. Then it goes up to the fifth, fifth generation. This is the latest one. And they are already 125 years in the dental market. Okay. Mm. And for implant itself, they are already in the market for more than 30 years. I think they started from 19, yeah, 1994. So it's already 30 years in the market, right? Mm. So it's quite a, real, a very, very reliable uh, brand. Okay. So before I started about uh, how we go, how we go implant is. So let's watch this one video uh, to yeah to brighten up. All our energy. Can you guess here? Need to increase the volume. Yeah. The computer. In the computer. Is playing from the projector. You need to increase the volume on the computer oh, software. So this is the surgical kit that we're gonna see later on, okay? Bego is very proud of their products and yeah, the diversity, the individuality, everything will be produced in their university and also they, they are located in the University of Bremen, Germany. And when they produce the implant, all the surface treatment, everything was done inside the facilities. Yeah, yeah, this is where the University of Bremen. Okay, so briefing about Bego. Now we're gonna start into implants itself. Okay, I knew that, and everyone knows that there is a lot of brands. Can one of you guess how many brands in the world of the implant company? I don't want to give a try. Tiga puluh. Like it? Wang cakap. <laughs> 30. <laughs> Dr. Wong cakap 30. Uh, how about our Indonesian delegates? Uh, any guess? 14. It's actually more than 100. Right, Dr. Mas? Right. So, Bego is one of the big implant company which is uh, coming from uh, German. So, Okay, like uh, some other uh, implants also, Bego has a few types of implant. Okay, like how we see here, there is parallel, tapered, which they call it RI. There are mini implants also, uh, self tapping, provisional, with and and the most uh, hot selling product we <laughs> is RS or RSX, which is the tapered with self-tapping threads. This is the most widely used in the world also. Yeah, and in Malaysia, we are bringing RS and RSX uh, type of implant, which has a, a tapered, uh, tapered, is it? What? Tapered shape, which is mimicking our roots. Uh, and there even 
self tapping uh, and tapered implants here there will be the, you can see there is uh, two different types rs and what rsx what is the difference i'll tell later in the next slide okay i just want to emphasize to you guys that we are going to focus more on the rs and rxx implants all right so the difference is is rsx means there is the shoulder part and can you guys differentiate yeah, the, the RS, the, the shoulder is bigger, okay? RSX means uh, the shoulder is, uh, there is no shoulder and it's on the bone level. RS means tissue level. Mm. So, for beginner, I would suggest for RSX. This is where we widely use mm, now, okay? We, we're going to use for bone level. I think this one, I think everyone already know for implants, we need to know about the shapes, diameter, length, type and uh, what I want to emphasize is what is the special features of Bigo? Okay, everyone wants to know that. What's the difference between the other brands? Right? This is uh, our implant component. We have the fixture, healing abutment, impression coping, analog and solid abutment. As what Dr. Adiba says, Actually, implant is a very big topic and we need to go along the procedure. It's not everything in one go. Uh, when we're going to use the implant fixture, we're going to use the healing abutment, impression coping solely abutment and analog. So, implant fixture is when our first surgery, we're going to use the healing post is usually it depends. If you guys can get a primary stability during the first uh, surgery during the implant placement, then we can put healing post at the same time. If not, if we if we are uh, if we are doing bone grafting or any sinus lifting procedure, maybe we need to see the condition of the patient and also how the implant uh, placement looks like. Then we can do a, the healing post on the second stage surgery. Okay. Implant coping, solid abutment and analog, it's all we go towards the prosthesis part. Okay? There's a lot of uh, components. Okay. For bagel, what is the difference? Is they have a very, very small diameter to be used. Okay? For many, yes, they have uh, the smallest is 2.7. But like I'm saying, we. Uh, the most widely used is RS and RSX. We have diameter 3. The smallest is 3, usually for the anteriors. And the biggest is 5.5, this formula. But the most commonly used is 3.7, 4.1 to 4.5. Okay? Yeah. And can you notice there is color coding also? Yeah. This color coding is universal. Uh, let's say the end is. Uh, according to the sizes. That means everywhere in the world, the blue is 3.7 in diameter. Yeah. Same goes to the grey, red. So, it's very easy. If, let's say, you have friends in the uh, other country which you want to... Uh, then, or you have a patient here which is treated in other country. Alright? So, we can see the difference. Oh, what sizing are they using? Alright? So, it's good that it's quite important. Now goes to the length. Length, this is a uh, the shortest we have is seven, uh, and the biggest is fifteen. But like I see here, the most common use is ten to ten to eleven point five. Seven, very rare. We have used before, even for molar. Yeah, because they have a, a it has a very wide. Uh, I mean the. the the body, mm. yeah. So primary stability is very very good, even for seven. We have tried before, but mm. I think we use for four seven, four seven eight. Patient is still under review now, and it's very good. Uh, this is what I said just now. The shoulder is bone level and tissue level. Mm. Right. Okay. So what's the so special about RS and RSX line? Okay, it has the tapered implant shape and self-tapping thread design. So if let's say 
uh, you guys are uh, finding it's hard during the implant placement, this uh, self-tapping thread is designed to help you to get uh, the primary stability. The, uh, the force that given will be um, helping you with the primary stability. Okay. And it is sandblasted and acid edge with the titanium pure. I will go to the material on the next slide. This is, uh, and it has 45 degree implant abutment connection. And have you guys heard about platform switching and platform matching before? Right, okay. So RS and RSX line is using platform switching uh, characteristic, okay? okay. Mm. Yeah, okay. To interrupt you during your uh, presentation, I just would like to ask while you are on the slide. Mm -hmm. uh, for platform switching, right? Mm -hmm. uh, would it be for both RS and RSX? Yes. Or is this on the tish, uh, the bone level one? Because I thought that normally, like for platform switching, mm -hmm. is for the bone level implant. It's for both. For both, is it? Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay. Thank you. Platform switching. RS and RSX. Okay. So this is. Uh, the diameter end length which is available for Brigo. Okay. For for diameter the smallest, for the smallest the uh, sorry the shortest we have seven but diameter is four point one. Yeah, we don't have three and seven. It's two I don't think we can get stability for that. Mm. Yeah, so for seven at least you need to have a diameter four point one and above. To get the primary stability, and and the other characteristic is the conical part of the implant is always at the same length. The bottom part, the one that change is the upper. So, anything to ask about the implant, the implant fixture? And if you have any question? No. Shall we go to the healing post next? Yeah. Okay. For healing post, we have two gingival height for Bigo, which is three and five. Okay. And the length and for Mola, we have a very wide body, uh, the, di the diameter of the healing post that we can use. And from what you can see from, it's already written. So the healing post that comes with Bego already uh, stated the size of the implant. That, sorry, the size of the implant that we are using is written. Hmm. Yeah, it's here. Okay, can you see? Sorry, I don't have the point. Uh, so sorry. Yeah, and four point five diameter length or the Java height is. So we don't get confused. Even when uh, you are using or you want to change, because uh, sometimes we don't have, we, we don't get the proper profile images that we want, right? So you don't get confused. You don't have to find uh, your records back. You know, if you forgot already, uh, the implant post is already written there. So it's easier. Okay, this is the implant for lalek. What I said just now, three millimeter implant. Usually, the indicated for lateral, upper incisor and lower central. Okay, this is the special features of RS and RSX line. Okay, what is the advantage of self tapping threads that is uh, produced by Bigo is. It will increase the primary stability, especially in the soft bone, which is uh, D3, D4 bone. Okay, later we can see also in the surgical kit there will be like, or it's, uh, there is some um, special uh, component if there is for D1 bone. Okay, this is uh, for soft bone. It will helps a lot. Sometimes we don't even need to use. Uh, Countersing and screw tapping uh, component uh, 
your last drill is already enough for the softboard to get a primary stability during implant placement. Okay. It, the root form shape makes it better for immediate implant placement and it fits the root anatomy like what I said. That's why we prefer tapered implant. Okay, this is our surgical kit. Later on, we're gonna have. Uh, yeah, now we are. Kita tengah apa? Set up our demo with your major. Yes, thanks to Hazim. All right, so now is the ther theoretical part. This is. I don't think you guys can see very clearly, right? Yeah, we're gonna have a video for the demo, and also all of you can go and see our surgical kit later on. Okay. Yes. Uh, the normal, normal, not the guided kit, right? Guided will have another kit from Mego. Okay? We will have the pilot marker, which is uh, for the initial initial drill. We will have the depth drill. Our depth drill is 2.5 millimeter in diameter. Then we'll go to the 3.0, 3.7, 5, 4.1 anti Jonas drill. Okay? Like uh, what uh, the kit says, usually this part, like what we're gonna see later on, this is for countersink and also for screw tapping. But mostly, widely, this is just enough for you <coughs> for your implant placement. Okay? For a soft bone, for a normal bone. Okay? And it's color coded as well, so you're gonna not get not gonna get confused. Okay, this is what uh, our guided surgery trays looks like. Okay, uh, later on there'll be a video for demo on how to use it. Okay, I think it's a, it's straight straightforward also. It's just that uh, from here you cannot really see. There'll be like what is A part, what is B part. And the spoon and the sleeve is all here. Okay. Yeah. This is how the yeah is how it looks like. See, and it's lock self locking spoon. So your guide and when you place the implant, it's not gonna move at all. Yeah, it's like a lock. You can see the video later on. Okay, that's how you unlock. There'll be a set of uh, instruction later on. Okay. Yeah, this is what Bigo is so proud of. They have a top quality drills, all drills and tools with an, an intensive laser marking. And can you see the black marks there? Yeah, why there is a black first black line, second black line, third black line? Can anyone guess why? The? Yeah, initial that yeah, yes, good. So usually the first one is seven, eight point five, uh I think ten point five, eleven eleven ten, eleven point five, thirteen and fifteen. Okay? It's and there will be a stopper also there. So it is a, it's adjustable. So we it's like much of kitabo R C T la can uh so the takan pagi uh dalam uh the can stop kas to j uh, okay, now we're talking about the material. Okay, Bego implants is made from titanium grade four, which is homogeneous, hyper clean, and pure surface. Okay, I think uh, titanium grade four is the highest highest quality. Mm. Okay, I can skip this. Yeah. So it's sandblasted and acid ash homogeneous clean surface and it has high bone contract rate for great osseointegration. integration. Okay. And this is the implant and abutment connection. Okay. What is the advantage of Bego's conical? Bego has conical connection. It will be minimizing the micro movement. It's stable. Yeah, because some implants are 90 degree, but Bigo has 45 degree uh, implant apartment connection. So it's also reducing the stress peak in implant and bone and adjustment of the implant angulation for primary screw retain construction. 
it's easier. You can see. Okay. The most advantage is giving is for the high strength, no micro movement, and also tactile sensation without the needs for confirmation of X-ray. Usually, after we put an implant, we're gonna put a cover screw, right? Or the healing post. Usually, we're gonna use our hand top right first for the uh, tactile sensation. So you can really feel. You can. You guys can have a try from it for yourself. Okay, like this. So now we can uh, talk a little bit about platform switching and what. What is platform switching? It's a concept introduced by Lazara and Porter in 2006, which they use a smaller diameter of the implant collar. Okay? Yeah. And you can see the difference between the platform matching. Why we're doing why are they producing a platform switching implant? Is for better aesthetics now. Because it's uh, follow your emergence profile here, right? This is where our junctional epithelium is, and this is where the crested bone is. So if it's platform matching, I think there is a picture here. Yeah, can you see if it's platform matching, the bacteria micro leakage it's uh, nearer to our crystal bone. Okay, compared to the uh, platform switching, uh, the sorry. Uh, the implant uh, collar is larger than the abutment collar. So, by bacterial microlicage is uh, less likely uh, to invade the crystal bone, which is not so easy compared to platform matching. That's why they are um, using platform matching. Uh, sorry, platform switching now. Okay. Now we go. Now you have an idea about the implant, the shape, the diameter, right? Now, can we go to the, our surgical procedure now? Yeah, this is how our implant packaging looks like. It's going to come, it's a sterile. Okay, and the implant length. Yeah, can you see the black, uh, sorry, the blue sticker there? Yeah, the implant length and diameter is marked on the cover. Yeah, and it's... Uh, it's packed in sterile blister pack, okay. and it's also came with the uh, implant cover screw together. Okay. Yeah, this is the how the pilot marker looks like. The depth drill two point five. This is the implant drill. Implant drill will have uh, the diameter will be shown. Uh, 3.75, 4.1, 4.5, and 5.5. This is countersink. What is the function of the countersink? Is just uh, for the neck. We wanted the uh, during our implant placement, we can uh, get a passive, uh, a good implant neck punya implant neck punya insertion so that they tak terkeluar ke. Because sometimes even we already have used the implant reel. Sometimes the cut neck punya there be like a bone uh, that is covering, so we need to use countersink to relieve to relieve it. And screw taper is optional. Like I said, it's usually used for a very very hard bone. Yeah. So, but it's included in the uh, surgical kit. Okay. Now it's clearer, right? Yeah. Uh, so you should, and it comes with the parallel pin, screwdriver. The, even the screwdriver will have the short and long screwdriver. Okay. So Richard, and yeah, even in the surgical kit, for me because um, I can say I'm a newbie in implants. <laughs> okay, I have done a few implants, but I can find that bigo kit is very simple. For beginner, so if you guys wanted to start an implant, it's good to have a very straightforward surgical protocol, right? So what this uh, surgical kit offered you is, uh, yeah, can you see that 
the drilling depth. Okay, so every time you put your uh, implant ring onto the uh, micro motor, right? So you can always, always check the length from the. It's like how we use the uh, RCT ruler. Okay, so you don't get confused. And there always, there is all, and always, always check your depth with the parallel pin. Okay, it's given also. So the sequence is very simple. Okay, uh, I'll just say in brief. So later on, we're gonna have the demo video. Usually, we will start with the pilot marker first. Okay. Usually, we go around seven. You don't over overgo your implant. Okay, then we're gonna use the uh, once you get your a very proper angulation. Okay, even if it's uh, you even if you wanted to change some angulation, our the depth drill can be done. Yeah. Okay, this is what we talk about. It's not a surgical uh, guide punya kit. Yeah, this is all about direct implant placement. Okay, we're gonna use this kit, and then we go here from here. Sorry, uh, hello. Okay, what you have to see that you can close your eyes for this two, two, three, and four. You can close for a while. This is used for a very hard bone. Okay, now we're gonna start from here. Pilot marker, then go to your depth drill. That drill is about 2.5 uh, diameter. <laughs> the next, you will go to the three. You're going to enlarge the diameter, right, of the implant. Your leg will always, always be the same. Okay? After we go, now we go here to the yellow. Yellow line. After we go straight, then we go down. Okay? You, after that drill, 3.0, 3.0, your next drill will be 3.75. It depends on what is your last, sorry, 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 yeah. So it depends on what is your last diameter of implant you wanted to insert, okay? After 3, 3.75, 4.1, 4.5, .1, okay? This is for D1 bone. Yeah, the second line here. This is the countersink and screw taping. Okay, so it's easy to understand. This is a jigger kit. Okay, all right. Okay, I'll just show you one video on how the surgical protocol will be.